So this is it. Just whatever's happening. Sounds, thoughts. sensations, temperatures, reaction to temperatures, reaction to thoughts, everything is it. As Nkosi said last week, you can't escape it. Where are you going to go to escape it? I guess my question is, how can I bear it when I don't like just this, what is? When it's uncomfortable, painful, distressing, how can I bear that? Who is speaking? The me. So the me can't escape it because the me actually isn't a real thing. It doesn't actually exist except in imagination. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, once you step into the me, it gets all tangled and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all if tangled. Because you, you're in story. So as soon as I'm in yeah. story, my story is I don't like this. So now my story is how do I get something better? Yeah. And then this moment doesn't even exist for me. I'm already, all my attention's on the future. Yeah. 
But it kind of makes sense, doesn't it, Faith, that the me needs future to continue its story. Yeah. But you don't. This, this doesn't need, this doesn't need anything. What would life need? Because yeah. so, there's, there's something, oh, sorry, go on. That's okay, go ahead. What, what we, I, was just gonna, I was just gonna say, oh, I was just gonna say, there's something wonderfully comforting to me, it's wonderfully comforting that this is it and you can't escape it, but it has this other flip side. When I get into the me identity, yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. Hmm. Sorry, Dan, go, go ahead. Well, there, there isn't anybody that can bear anything, right? Yeah. There's just this. There isn't yeah. an experience of, of anybody bearing something else. And this just this mm. is what always is. I mean, we just point. So you could... You could ask yourself, how have you, if you bear, how have you, how has faith bared this at any point, right? Or any of us, right? But the, that's the story, the story of this person bearing something else. And as Michael said, that story already assumes that there is something called something else. So mm. it's painful for faith because there's that feeling, that feeling of being faith includes the feeling that there's something else that's better that I don't have right now. And that's really the, the painful part of it. That's what we call suffering. Hmm. But Faith, do you see how, if you investigate that suffering, that it's really just suffering. It's not your suffering. Like the problem was when that word my, you know, when, it, when it's my mm -hmm. suffering, well, then, then the me yeah. is attached and, and that's it. But it's like Michael said, when, when we came on, it's just a sensation like tree bark, right? That's that sensation. If you really look at it, it's not calling your name and saying, this is face. This is right. It's not, it's not doing that. Hmm. So the problem is, like Dan said, when you when the me goes into story, it thinks it's my suffering, and it's my suffering because mm -hmm. X happened, Y happened, and I have to, and now you're just gone. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. If anybody has any comments or questions, feel free to unmute and jump right in. Okay, I was practicing today. <laughs> uh, I was practicing saying it's all it, not even saying it, that when some, something would appear, I would say that is it too. Um, I did that a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> And um, and I found when I got home from work, I was kind of depressed. I guess that's it too. Hey. 
I love it when they answer their own questions. But I have, I have had some idea that if I said to myself, everything is it, that somehow there would be an elation or a feeling better or more relaxed and some idea about that too, which who would have that idea? Maybe I really wasn't saying that that's it too and meaning it. Well, the one who's speaking. That's it too. <laughs> Everything is it. And, you know, that's what the me can't handle. Because if everything is it, there's no, there's nowhere to get to. So the me is completely eviscerated on the spot. So to keep from actually, well, seeing this, it just continues to live in story and actually doesn't, as Tim Kliss does, it do, this message doesn't even touch the sides. Like, what are you talking about? Because I need to know what's in it for me. And you're, t you're telling me there's nothing? So the me cannot hear this. You see, the me is, is already, has already understood it and already knows that there's a better it. And the me is already trying to get the better version, right? So it says, oh yeah, I know it's it, but there's gotta be a, a better it. Hmm. Oh yeah. That's close, but no cigar. No, that was good, Dan. I think you got it. Spot. Saying, for the me, it's close, but no cigar. I mean, yeah, it's always gonna. Yeah, for the me, right. it's always gonna be close because it it has to to stay in business, right? If my job is seeking, and all I can do is seek, I don't. It's not in my interest to stop seeking. So, Alice, just now when you you just did a like a little shudder, was was there something going on then? It was like, <clears throat> this is so impossible. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. that's me. So you're just noticing that you're 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 being Alice, which that's that's what we all are doing. That's the whole point. That's why we're here. Yeah. But wait, hold on. I don't want to go past that, Alice, because it is it is impossible. If everything is stay with that, because the the media yeah. doesn't want to hear that. If all is it, if all is it, then who is the knower of it? All. <laughs> That's the one that's been getting me lately. Who knows the knower? Oh. Maybe if we're good, Inkosi will tell us. <laughs> uh, nobody knows the knower. Nobody knows anything. I don't know this. This can't know anything, knows itself. Even anything is still itself. The seeker, the seeking, and what is sought after is still it. 
even the feeling of trying to know this is still it. When you know this is also it. The one who's trying to know it is it already. If the, the finder of this is already this, what's there to be found? And who, who is to find it? And who can know the finder? Nobody. Nobody is doing anything. Nobody has ever done anything. Whatever you're breaking just up right now. You're breaking up, Nkosi. Let's see if the picture comes back, maybe. Can you can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Whatever may arise, whatever question may arise, it just arises uh, for no one. Nobody's doing anything. There's just what's happening. All is this. The one who's trying to know this is this already. There's nothing wrong with trying to, to know this. This doesn't see anything wrong. There's no good and bad to this. You're frozen for us. I don't know if you're still speaking. The feeling of not being it is still this. Oh, I can't hear. We can we, we can hear you, but uh, it's a little scratchy. You're we frozen though. We can hear you, but your, your picture is frozen. Tracy, did you say something about there's no good or bad? Was, was that what you said? Something about good or bad? Yes. Could you repeat that, please? Yeah, to, to this. This doesn't say anything wrong or right. No, thank you. To this, everything is just happening. Yeah, thank you. There's no good and bad to this. Because mm. even, even what seems to be bad is still this. Even the next one that seems to be good is still this. So everything is it. Yeah. Even the me that is trying to, to know it is it already. The feeling that says this should not be it is still it. So everything is it. There is nothing wrong with anything to this. This is formless and empty. All objects, they appear and disappear in this. This doesn't move. 
Maybe Nkosi needs to re reconnect. Yeah, that's a good idea, Dan. Nkosi, do you want to log off and try logging back on because you're still frozen? Also, okay. if, he, if he turns, if you turn off your video, it'll help your bandwidth and the sound at least will come through because the sound is breaking up. Uh, yeah. And we all okay. really want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, come back, come back. See if you can log off because we want to see your pretty face too. So he's he's got a long way to go because he's coming from South Africa. Oh wow. So all is it has no exception. Yeah, I liked when Alice um, spoke. Um, I forget exactly her words, but I had a period of time where where my phrase was, and this too, you know, when things were not going the way that me wanted, the way Faith wanted, uh, I would, and this too, and this too, and this too, sort of similar to what you were saying, Alice, you know. Okay, I feel depressed, but that's it too. And so it's nice to hear you say that, so repeat it in a different way. Yeah. Okay. And even the one asking, that's what gets overlooked. The one complaining, that complaining voice, is it too. Mm -hmm. How else? How else? Otherwise, how how could that complaining voice get here? Yeah. And what could be better than the complaining voice if that's what's here? And it's what because there, there is no better. The reason there's no good or bad, better or worse, that does not exist. There is no alternative to what is. There's not a better version. All of that is the story of the me. All the better and worse, and I wish it was some other way that I'm trying to make it become, that's just seeing, recognizing story and seeing that that was never true. But none of that affects what is real, which is just this. Oh, and Kosi's back. Yeah, much better. We can see you now. Yeah. You can appreciate the nice threads. <laughs> Yeah, the network is bad. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Nkosi, you were singing you were singing a beautiful song to me when you were expressing <laughs> when you were expressing what you did before. It just to me it's just like the most sweetest beautiful orchestra music and its words. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Can we can we say it's singing to itself? Yeah. Yes. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it doesn't mean you have to like every expression, just like you don't have to like every kind of music.
Actually, when you logged off in COSI, we were talking about how if all is it, then who is finding what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, yeah if, if the finder cannot be known and cannot be located, then what's there to find? Who, who, who is to find uh, what needs to be found? There's no one. There's nothing, you know. The, the the feeling of not being this is this already. The searching for this, the searching for it, doing meditation, everything you can to find this is still this. Nothing can be found. Because the finder cannot be found. There's just this. There's just only this. No matter the feeling that me feels, it is still this already. The seeking the seeker and the seeking and what is sought after is already it. Every feeling, every emotion, every opinion, it doesn't matter to this. Whether you know, you, you can't point to this. Because there's only this. How can you point to it? Who, who is the pointer? <laughs> this is just everything. If even the one who talks, as a matter of fact, there's no one talking. It's just everything, everything is talking. There is no separation. Everything is, is one. There is no separation. You, you can't separate this. This is wholeness. When the me talks, when the me seems to talk, it's wholeness talking. <laughs> it's everything talking. <laughs> There's no individual expressing any feeling. This is just this. No matter how bad it is, it's still it. You, you are not ex excluded in this. This en includes everything. Yet it's nothing. <laughs> this is just what's happening. And this is, this is, this is happening for no one. It's just happening. And nothing is happening. It's nothing happening. Looks like it's no thing freezing. In profile. Yeah, that's a great picture. So we'll see if hopefully he comes back. Um, was that clear? <laughs> was there, does anybody have any questions? <laughs> it's beautiful, but you know, to me it's, it's uh, same time. It is what it is and uh, it is everything and it's nothing and it's, 
there's no seer and at the same time we're all wrong <laughs> uh, our perceptions of it are all wrong we'll never be able to understand it we'll be able never be able to see what it is and that's part of it too you can't grasp it you can't contain it It's not going to make sense. Science isn't going to lay it all out. It's Cartesian logic. It's never, a, it's never going to be within our grasp. You just have to float and be wrong. No, it's not being wrong or right. It's unknowable. Right. But even this, since it's unknowable <clears throat> and we're there trying to know things, what we know is always going to be wrong. Everyone's wrong. Everyone's perception of the world is wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. But you're, I'm not saying it's wrong and I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it's unknowable. Their opinion is just whatever it is, right? So everybody's story is just whatever it is. But what's actually this right here? But beyond opinion, there's perception of the way that it is. And everybody's perception of the way it is, is wrong. Because it can't be encapsulated. It's not subject to logic. Yeah, but there's no perceiver. If you take the me out of this whole conversation. Right. You yeah, know, like a big spiral, of, a little spiral of wrong, whatever that right. is. Right, well, right, exactly, exactly. Who would know that, Charles? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Charles, what you are calling wrong, you're saying it's another word for that is it's completely whole as it is. Okay. Now to say it's wrong or I don't, I don't know. It's wrong because I don't know the right thing, right? Is what we're saying. No, and that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say it can't be captured by perception. Oh, I know, I know, but that, they've modeled that kind yeah. of thing. But that also includes the idea that there is something else that could be here that isn't. In other words, capturing it by perception would be including that thing that's missing. So that's a frame, and that is the way the me experience, that's the experience of the me. But as Nkosi just said, everything is whole. The wholeness is already the case as whatever it is. There isn't anything else that's missing. There isn't anything that might show up. That's why we say there's no possibility. This is it. Well, well, our powers of perception can be increased. There could be a, aliens could land tomorrow. We could see them. Like, hey, look, there's aliens. But you're saying the story, the story is always changing, right? Because he said that too. Everything is always changing. So the next moment is going to have a, is going to be a different story. Just on and on and on. But it's not going to ever make anything right. It's it's not going to fix right. because there's nothing broken. There's nothing missing, right. only to the me. To the me, it's always missing. And the me is this energy of trying to get what's missing. Or what's not the right. totality of it, the wholeness of it is beyond encapsulation of perception. I mean, we can say everything and nothing, we can say wholeness, but it's not subject to our modeling. It's not subject to our, our mental conception. Well, all we can do is make it here now. What? <laughs> just, just a second. I, I just want to say something. So take a look right now. Just stop for just a second and take a look, right? So notice that, take a look at your surroundings, where you are, your room, the temperature, your feet on the floor. And notice that this right here doesn't have a story. You need a me to say, oh yeah, I was at a Zoom meeting at such and such time and we did this, that and the other. 
And we have to take this, which is inherently storyless, and then conjure up this story that appears in time. But take a look at this moment directly. There's just this. And it doesn't have any story. It doesn't plug into any story. You have to do that. Yeah, but we know that what we see is this is limited by our perception. If I was to have an electron microscope or if I was a dog or if I was, you know, there'd be all sorts of things that I don't perceive that are part of the wholeness that aren't part of my awareness. I, I can't see how far the universe goes, right? I can't see back in time. We're limited, we're limited in our perception, severely. Well, the, the me- By our mind and our perception. But Charles, the me is always limited. So as long as- It doesn't exist, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of a non-starter. You really can't get anywhere with the me. It's like we used to say, coming from the zero or the one. You know, if you're coming from the one, which is kind of what I'm hearing, then yeah, it's, you're gonna have all these, oh, but the electron microscopes. But if you're coming from the zero, and you're starting from that, from that, yeah. there are no questions. Another way of saying that is, am I telling a story about what is this mm -hmm. or is it just this? So I would ask you, Charles, really to seriously to do the experiment and look at this and see if you can find anything that's limited or, or not enough. Or better. My <laughs> whole perception of the world changed two days ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as much of this as I've been doing, my perception of, uh, of everything changed two days ago. I saw things I didn't see that became so clear to me, you know, and sure that's part of the story and there was no one to observe that, but let alone, but uh, nonetheless, there's a perceiver and that perceiver is always going to be blind to the wholeness, even if we are with what is. So again, the question is, are you the perceiver? Because when I say that, I can't. Uh, you know, I'm not claiming to be the perceiver, but there's perception and perception change. And perception is always going to be wrong. It's always limited. Perception is always limited. The perception of the perceiver is always limited. No matter what you call. Okay, well, I say this is always this. Okay, okay. Just because we're kind of getting near the end here, I just want to call a, a time out. So the message here is this is unknowing. The me can say whatever it wants. As you can see from the internet, it has no problem. But the fact that what we're here talking about is, is not knowable. And again, it's not knowing because knowing would only mean that there's some, something missing here that I could know. In other words, oh, I don't know it and I get the knowledge and now I know it, it's missing. In other words, right? But there isn't anything that is missing. Knowledge is only just you know, supplying something that wasn't known you know, before. And that's not what this is. This is completely, completely full. And there isn't anything missing. There isn't anything, it's not limited, okay? There's nothing that can be added to this, like knowledge or anything else. And that's not the story that the me is telling. So, See, Dan? Yeah. So, okay. I get it. It makes sense. Too bad. All I really want to do is feel good. Mm -hmm. Right? So, knowing it is not good enough. Or believing it, I guess, is not good enough. 
makes sense. There's nothing else and suffering comes from wanting anything else that isn't what is. And that's still a perception that there is something else. Right. Right. Um, you have to have a perception there is something else. So I always say, I don't know what I want. I just know I don't want this. Yeah. That's more importantly, it's coming from the one. That's every me. Mm -hmm. It's coming from the one. That's Okay. So, right. But so from a practical standpoint, you know, what do I do? From a practical standpoint, Ron is going to do whatever he can to, to feel as good as he can and to make things as good as he can. That's the story. And Michael, you want to step in? <laughs> it's a good question. I like this. Yeah. So can you, right now, there's just this. So it doesn't, there is no other, there is no other this. So it's happening exactly as it's happening right now. And as it's happening, there's no space for you in that. It's like the me is a day late and a dollar short because all I can do is comment. And yet, as that's it too, right? Even the one commenting, I don't like this. I wish it were different. How would that be any different than the one that says, I like this, this is great. I hope this doesn't end. This isn't going anywhere. Wait a second. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's always changing. It's going somewhere. This is always going somewhere. Yes, it appears to. This is, a, this is actually going somewhere. That's actually <laughs> what it is. <laughs> Okay. But that's only if you believe in time as a construct and time is a construct of mind. Like that is a, is something of the me. Well, no, not necessarily. I mean, you know, you to take as short as a period of time that can exist and interpolate it, that's the now, <laughs> but it's going somewhere. Wait, where, where's the now? Here. Here? That's right. What about here? 
<laughs> you can't pin it down, guys. It's like finding the slope of a curve. It's, it's like trying to grab water with your hand. Have you ever but tried it, to grab a handful, stick your hand in the pool? And grab it's going somewhere. It's always changing. It's going somewhere. Well, Michael, you should tell your story about your uh, being in the car wash. Oh yeah. Anyway, I, okay, maybe we'll save that for the next time. But <laughs> the point is, it's always appearing to go somewhere. It's always looking like it's going <laughs> somewhere, seeming like it's going somewhere on the way to. But look again. Where did it go? Where'd it go? Look backwards. But you know, flowers bloom and die. So will all of us. Or something. Maybe it's not the us. Maybe it's this just canisters, these bodies, but things happen. Right. It's always going somewhere. Well, I mean, we could take the ocean as a good example. Are, are the waves really going anywhere? I mean. Yeah, they're rising. <laughs> they're rising as the, uh, the glaciers melt. OK. I could tell you how much where, if you'd like. <laughs> but actually, it's always changing, Michael. It's always actually, changing. Actually, Charles, but the whole thing is is it a play? Is it seen in, in, as a play? Because when it's a play, it's both tragic and beautiful. When it's taken personally, it's, it's, just a, it's just a nightmare. It's just suffering. Yep, that's a challenge. Well, but it's not a challenge challenge for Charles because Charles is just moving along with everything else. He is part. If, it, if, you, if, it's, if, it, if there's something that's going somewhere, well, Charles, whatever we call Charles, is part of that going, and we don't know what it is. And it seems to be Char Charles seems like he's he's like out of the out of phase with what's going. In other words, like he's a little bit stable and everything's going around him. And he's trying to find the answer to that. I mean, he's trying to, again, when actually Charles is just more of that movement. There isn't any Charles, but there is all of this movement. And this is this appearance. We call Charles, we call everything. We have a name for everything. Yeah, whatever you call it is still it. So if you call it Charles or Dan or Nkosi or Michael or Ron, doesn't matter. I feel like I didn't get my point across. <laughs> That's, Maybe next time. <laughs> that, that, that's it too. That's it too. Feel, yeah, feeling like you didn't get your point across. In, in Kosi, do you have any final words to bring us out, my friend? There's always going to be this, you know, there's always going to be this. Even when uh, Charles was, was talking, actually there wasn't uh, any Charles talking. It was just this, it was just wholeness. You know, as, I, as, I, as, I, as I've always said that uh, no matter which direction the me takes, it will always be this. You know? this, this is just what's happening. And it's happening for no one. And no one is talking here. No one has ever had any opinion. 
it was it was this. Even in the beginning of the meeting, uh, it was this. Talking to itself, having questions, doubts, the feeling of not getting it. It has been this. There's, there's no one here. I'm not, and you are not. <laughs> you are not that body that you see. There's just this. This doesn't see the me struggling. It sees itself. Everything is it. There is no escape. Even the one who's trying to escape this, it is still this. All the seeking, all the struggling, all the doubts, <laughs> It will yeah. always be this. Yeah. There's no time to this. That is what I saw in Kosi, was that me was a rejection of this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want this. What just blows my mind is how, as we're moving along in this, worlds can just sort of erupt and there'll be new this. <laughs> like the internet, like uh, quantum physics, new worlds. Things that we didn't know about ourselves, you know, anything. It can just, it's always changing. There's always, it's always new. That's what blows my mind. Opinions, or you can, opinions you can and also stories say, aside. Oh, I'm sorry, Charles. Opinions and stories aside. Sorry, go ahead, Alan. No, I was just going to say, too, that you can look at it from this point of view, that this is just continually revealing itself. So what you may be calling new because the internet came around, you could also just say it's, it's, it already was this. It's just, you know, revealing itself. Yeah. Yeah. Always new and always the same. That's, that's the yin and yang symbol. Sorry, Alan. No. Oh. You know me, I come in there for that last one and a half minutes. That's when I, come, when I open my eyes. <laughs> Michael, I did want to throw one other thing out there because you've mentioned this in the past. I know Ron has brought this up a number of times or tonight he talked about, you know, that wanting, you know, to, we all want to feel good. And I know you told the story a long time ago. I think you were on a run or you're walking in the neighborhood by UCLA and talking about how you're just so connected to the flowers and the butterflies. And I, if you want to comment, I, I just, I was thinking also in, in terms of, I know it's, it's it sort of sounds like the me, Bron, but I do feel like when you are not in story or less in story or quieter, it does feel like, even though we can say no matter what, this is still all of this, but there does seem to be harmony and rhythm and flow um, when you are spending more and more time, so to speak, um, not in story or not, not in mind. So anyway, Michael, did you want to, you know, getting the right parking spot, did you want to comment on that? Well, there's just what's happening. And what I noticed, though, the difference is there's a not caring. So the experience is as it is. There's no, the me always comes preloaded, like, well, I, I hope this is going to be good. I hope I don't waste my time. <laughs> but it is, this is as it is. So you're, you know, it's like the me can, I mean, right now, do you need 
a me for this moment to be? Thank you everybody so, so much for coming this evening. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, those that sent donations, thank you so much, greatly appreciated. Um, and again, big thank you to all of you in COSI, everybody, so great that you're all here. Beautiful, and I'll get this up on YouTube in the next 24 to 48 hours. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Michael. Thank, thank, you, thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys.